Hi friends, hola amigos. Thanks for joining our monthly STEM time. We will be using supplies that hopefully most of you would have around the house so you can experiment with me. Let's get started. Okay, so to do your experiment, you're gonna need a container. I have this one, but if you have a plate, that could work, or a wide bowl, that could work too. We are gonna need some dish soap. We're gonna need some milk, some food coloring, and a Q-tip, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour the milk just enough to um, cover the surface. Okay, that's pretty good. And then you can put as many drops as you want. I think I'm gonna put five. Two, three, four, five of each color. Okay, and I want you to notice what is actually happening with the food coloring that we put in. It's just kinda hanging out in the middle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Q-tip, we're gonna dip it in the dish soap, and I want you to think about what is going to happen when I put it on top of the milk and the food coloring. So let me just open this up. And you might need to get help from your parents on this one, but we're just gonna dip it in Get it all nice and um, soapy. And then, just gonna, there you go. And then, are you ready? Here we go. I hope you had fun creating your magic milk. The soap molecules cause a chemical reaction that makes the colors mix together and move around in the milk. In fact, it's not really the colors moving, but the food coloring that allows us to see the chemical reaction between the soap and the milk fat. The soap also lowers the surface tension of the milk, allowing the colors to mix around and move about more freely. So for a bit, you'll see everything move around and swirl before it finally settles. To experiment further, try using different colors or put the colors in something other than milk. Please comment below on what happened during your experiment. Thanks for joining us.